Hello and welcome to Art by Kelly Marie. Um, so today I'm actually going to re-pour over this canvas which I'm not happy with the way that it turned out. Um, but that's the joy of acrylic painting and acrylic pouring that you can always reuse um, canvases if you're not happy with the way they've turned out. So um, today I'm going for a Dutch pour. Um, so I am armed with my trusty hair dryer and I want to go for quite cold blue tones so I've got a really nice custom slate blue which I've made myself for the base uh, then I've also got white a dark navy blue a mid warm blue for contrast and a very light blue as well for contrast then I've also got a bit of grey and silver um, so yeah let's get right into it so first things first, I'm just covering the base with the slight blue colour. You want to make sure that you cover the entire base and the sides. And I've used my icing tool to move the paint around because it gives a nice, thin, even coverage. Then as you can see, I've taken the other colours in a kind of S shape and layered that around the canvas and then moved that around with my hairdryer and the straw. Painting like this is never finished, so don't be scared of going in with extra colours and just manipulating the consistency until you're happy with it. Finishing off, just popping any air bubbles with my torch. And here you go, here is the finished but still wet result. After I'd moved the paint around, I put some splatters down in the various shades of white and blue and silver just to give the impression of stars. Um, and then I've also used a stick to move any of the larger splatters just to give a, a larger star kind of effect. And here we go, are you ready? Final finished dry result. I absolutely love the sheen on this. I did forget to mention earlier that all of my paints did have pour, uh, pouring gloss medium in them as well. And that's why it's got that really nice uh, shiny consistency. Enjoy your painting. Bye.